Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. So today I've been on the train to visit my nan in hospital. She's doing quite well. She was being fed through a tube in her nose but now they've taken that away and she's starting to eat. But being in hospital you don't really have a big appetite because who likes hospital food? Nobody. So uh, I've been making her some cheese sandwiches, uh, taking them in. Um, her appetite isn't big, but uh, the nurses have said she's not eating anything. So today, uh, as I said, I, make, I made her a cheese sandwich and she had half of it. So hopefully she'll have the other half later. But uh, she's doing quite well and uh, fingers crossed that she can be transferred back to uh, my local hospital. So it's going to be a little easier to go and visit her. But I think that's probably going to be in the next few weeks, depending on when they have a bed available here. But uh, I do have a few pickups to show you today. Uh, one from an indoor market store in my hometown. Uh, one from a charity shop and two from eBay. So what I'll do is I'll show you what I got from the charity shop. So one of my local animal charity shops uh, had a bit of a sale going on where they were selling DVDs for 10 pence again. So I managed to get hold of Watchmen. Never seen it, but this is part of DC Superhero Comics. So I thought I'd give it a try and see if I like it or not. About superhero uh, who gets murdered and some other superheroes try and solve the murder mystery, I suppose. So it's on for 155 minutes. I know there is an ultimate extended cut of this which is on for 214 15 minutes or so but uh, as I say I want to watch this see what I think of it if I like it then I'll probably go for that version but for the time being to find this in the charity shop for 10p pretty much a no-brainer so yeah really happy with that and then the disc art just there so for 10p I think that's a bit of a bargain um, in my indoor market, which isn't very good, they, there is a bookstore. He sells books and occasionally DVDs and Blu-rays. Uh, I went in there, traded a few books in. Um, I got, I took in a couple of DVDs as well that aren't worth anything at CEX, but he doesn't know that, and uh, managed to get seven pounds, which. I thought was very good so I used it to get a box set of a TV show that I quite like. He was charging a bit, his pricing isn't very great to be honest, he was charging twelve ninety nine for this so I got £7 knocked off so I only paid 6 and I got Great British Railway Journeys Series 1, 2 and 3. So he had just the box set, just the you know the slip box on one of the shelves, then he had the three cases behind the counter. He put twelve ninety nine on this and then fifteen pounds on these. I don't get it. But uh, I was only charged twelve ninety nine by um, one of his other sales assistants. So luckily I got this for six pounds. So this contains seventy episodes over fourteen discs. We have four journeys on series one and five journeys in series two and series three. It's on for 2056 minutes and has had 70 episodes. And Great British Railway Journeys is a TV show about Michael Portillo who travels the length and breadth of Britain uh, using a George Bradshaw guide from the Victorians and sees what has changed. So yeah, I really like it. Although the pricing for these is quite expensive. Don't really know why though. But it just is in series three. So happy with that. Managed to get seven pounds knocked off, trading in a few books and a couple of DVDs that aren't worth anything at CEX. So Moving on now to my eBay pickups. So 
at the moment I'm interested in DC so I thought I want to try and get some I like a documentary about DC so I didn't know I actually owned one um, in was it Batman Assault on Arkham you get a free bonus DVD with it about the history of DC Comics but looking on the internet on eBay I came across this which is all about supervillains and it is Necessary Evil Supervillains of DC Comics. This is a US Blu-ray and does work over here. It's region free. It's a documentary, as I said, about the supervillains from DC. It's on for, I think, an hour and 30 minutes. It's got DTS HD Master Audio 2.0. And it's on for 99 minutes, sorry. So, yeah. Looking forward to checking out this documentary, narrated by Christopher Lee. Sir Christopher Lee. This was made in 2013. Does come with a digital copy. And then the disc. Let me just have a black disc there. So yeah, really looking forward to checking out this. The Joker, Lex Luthor, Catwoman, Doomsday and Bane, what makes them so thrillingly watchable. So looking forward to that. And my last pickup is something that uh, I've been quite curious about uh, the past few days. So looking around trying to find a very, very cheap copy, I wanted to get into something. I'm not sure if I'll like it. So I got Doctor Who. An unearthly, an unearthly child. Never seen Doctor Who. Well, I have seen Doctor Who. I've seen two episodes of the new Doctor Who from last year. It was okay, but I wanted to really start it off at the beginning. So I got the very first ever episodes. So for 130 minutes, and we have special features on here. We have um, the pilot, an unaired 35 minute recording from 1963 we have theme music video full-length version of the original theme music with mono stereo or 5.1 surround mixes we have comedy sketches four short sketches mostly themed around the early years of doctor who from the league of gentlemen and little britain photo gallery and this has been digitally remastered and has good picture and sound quality it says Region 2 and Region 4. So, yeah, if I like this, I'm not sure. This is the William Hartnell years from 1963 to 66. So, yes, he's black and white. It doesn't bother me. So, there's the disc. Actually, I didn't even check the disc does have a few scratches on there, but it uh, shouldn't be too bad, I suppose. This has all the chapters and a little bit of information about the episodes. So yeah, looking forward to checking out Doctor Who from the very, very beginning. Who knows if I like it or not? I'm not sure. But uh, those are my pickups and mail. So, yep, happy with all that. So, if anybody has left a comment on any of my previous videos, um, for some reason YouTube has been going stupid lately. Uh, I, I haven't seen any comments. Hopefully I've fixed it, um, allowing all comments to be shown. But uh, if it's still doing that, then uh, I do apologise if I haven't replied to any of your comments. It is YouTube being stupid. But, uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give the video some big thumbs up. Leave your comments, hopefully, down below if I can see them. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. And as always, until next time, take care and thank you very much for watching.